Majesties King Charles III and the Queen Consort start their journey towards Westminster Abbey. For 70 years he has been heir to the throne, but now His Majesty makes his way to be the 40th monarch crowned in Westminster Abbey, the 62nd monarch overall. And this is a journey he has made so many times in his life, but this time is exceptional and historic. And we'll pass the magnificent white marble tribute to Queen Victoria, who was the first monarch to take this route to her coronation in 1838. And her statue there looks directly down the mall, and she'll keep an eye on her great 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 grandson as he travels with his king, with his queen, to fulfill his destiny. And the Diamond Jubilee State Coach there, in all its glory. And the Windsor Greys, six Windsor Greys pulling the carriage, decorated with royal blue, and their main dressings are customarily crimson, but they've been changed on this occasion. And the royal blue, the colour selected. And the king has chosen the Diamond Jubilee State Coach with good reason. On the way back, when we see the coronation procession, they will use the glorious gold state coach, which is even more regal and sparkling, but it has no suspension, which means it's not entirely conducive to arriving in tip-top form for a long service. Queen Victoria actually refused to travel in it because of its disturbing oscillation. And William IV said it was like being aboard a ship in rough seas. Even Queen Elizabeth II said it wasn't very comfortable. So instead, this coach, which is very different, it's a much smoother ride. It has six hydraulic stabilizers, it has electric windows, it has air conditioning. I'm not sure that will be needed today. Built in Australia, and it is the newest coach in the Royal News. 